Uh, your next comic, guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite guys in Richmond. He's new, but I, I love this guy. He's so fucking hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Remo! How you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. This is really intimate right here. Oh, man. Anybody got kids? You are alone, my friend. <laughs> the rest don't wait to tax season. Like, hey, I got like a few of them. <laughs> I realized that at having kids, back to school has different, two different views. Back to school is like, you know, when you a kid, back to school is like, fuck, it's the end of my summer. But the parent, it's like back to school, like I've been waiting on this bitch all summer. <laughs> like, I want you guys to go back. Back to school, you know, you like, I wonder who's in my class. As a parent, I'm like, I hope you don't got that bitch Miss Johnson ass again. <laughs> Fuck it. Back to school shopping, you know what I'm saying? Kids are shopping for colors and characters. Parents are shopping for discounts, <laughs> private layaways, price tags. That's what we look out for. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> I hate the fact that my parents didn't know when shit was out of style. I was the only one in middle school with like them LA gears and light up shoes. Y'all remember them shit? <laughs> they made me a hall monitor just because my shit was red and blue. Now here come police. <laughs> 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 they used to play red light, green light when I came around. I was like here you go. Ah, oh, he go, he go, y'all, he go. He go. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um let me see. Okay, I'm move on. Facebook. Uh anybody do Facebook? I see a couple of my Facebook friends in here. Yay! <laughs> hey, yeah. I fucking hate Facebook though. <laughs> that shit is so fucking depressing, man. Y'all get on there, it's like so much drama and shit, and then people be like, oh my god, I'm having a bad day, I wanna kill myself. Well, if I can do it, like, you know, if you post it, what you want me to like your comments on the suspect in your death? Like, I seen first 48, and that shit's not a happy moment. Oh, man, that shit is crazy, man. I hate, like, the thugs, you, a fucking Facebook thug. Like, my thing is, if you have no income, you stand at your mom's house, you don't got a car, then you can't be a thug. Like, it's a high with the... What? Talking when you whoop somebody ass, why don't you whoop a job application ass? Let's start off at ground zero right now. <laughs> Fuck out of here. How you gonna get to me anyway? You wanna fight me, you like, <laughs> you gotta go in your mama room. Mama, hey mom, they talking shit on Facebook again, you gonna give me a ride, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know the Ray Ray, they always doing this shit, you gonna get a ride. Uh, I don't know why that's a thug name, but little Ray Ray just scared me a little bit. I think I'm peeing myself. <laughs> mm. I hate them Facebook names, you know? Jimmy selling dope Johnson. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Man, you've been avoiding this goddamn. <laughs> the gotcha paper been sending you out uh, fucking friend requests all week and shit. <laughs> Keep it ignored. They know you're looking. <laughs> they got you, buddy. Um. Done with that. <laughs> oh man. Um, I realized that uh, I hate driving. Um, like I got road rage real bad. Anybody else got that road rage? Woo! Woo! Man, I met my master like the other day. My road rage came to an end. Okay, I was driving, and like this person came off the ramp, like just cut me the fuck off. And I was so pissed. I was like angry, ah, I was just screaming and shit, and I like tell this person for a couple of months, and then all of a sudden, we got a little space in between us, and like, have you ever seen like a bumper sticker that just changed your mind? Like this, I was, this bumper sticker said, my child is an honor student at Powhatan Prison. I said, oh shit. <laughs> I heard him turn, I tried to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> then, <laughs> My GPS started talking shit like, please keep straight one way. I said, bitch, you ain't see that bumper sticker? Oh yeah, recalculate, recalculate. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna out on this. Um, fucking A. Um, I just got some new insurance. Found out with some bullshit. That State Farm shit, I realized that shit don't work. 
One time I was high as shit. I got pulled over by the police. And I was like, my like, good name is State Farm is there with a license. <laughs> and a white friend. <laughs> the officer looked at me dead in my eyes and leaned over and said, with a ticket, now drive safe. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I have a better ending next time. I'm working on that one. Thank you guys for listening to my bullshit on Remo. God damn, I fucking love that State Park trick. Remo, everybody, let him hear it. Yeah. All right, for all of you who stuck around, ladies and gentlemen, we got one last comic for you. Our headliner, if you will. Are you ready for your last comic of the evening? Paul Bass, too. Paul Bass, everybody. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, uh, give a big round of applause to all the comedians you've seen here tonight. Everybody got up here. Especially, and I want to give a shout out, they're not here anymore, but especially uh, Abedin Amukigwala and Rukmani Ramachandran, because I wanted to prove I could say both those names. <laughs> I still want to prove I can do it. I'm not sure I did it. <laughs> they're not here to tell me. Like, that's, that's how I learned how to pronounce their names. I just say letters, and when they stop nodding, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I got to the end of the name. It's like that horse who could do math. <laughs> that's a real thing. You can Google it. I, uh, there was a horse. He did math. It was a fake. Whatever. I'm very tired. But for some reason, that usually goes well here, so congratulations. Uh, I, um, I watch a lot of TV. I don't know if everybody else like watches all the new shows and shit, but The New Normal premiered last night. Uh, and it's a show on NBC that's uh, it's about a, a gay couple and they're having a child through a surrogate and she lives with them with her teenage daughter and her mom and it's wacky hijinks. Whatever, I'm sure it'll get cancelled in like six episodes. Uh, except in Utah, where the NBC affiliate has refused to air it because it... Ha it Show, it demonstrates poor family values, and they don't want to air that show in prime time in the good state of Utah. So last night when it premiered, they decided to run a rerun of Law & Order SVU instead to promote wholesome Christian family values. Yeah. And uh, I don't fucking get it, right? I don't... There's nothing... It's a show about people raising a family. It is the definition of family values, you motherfuckers. Uh, and I, I got into an argument with someone online uh, about like why this was a big deal. He was like, no, it's just, it's not normal. It's not, it's not a normal family. Well, first off, I don't care. It's not normal that all the friends knew, were white and didn't know any black people in seven years in New York, all right? <laughs> Sitcoms aren't normal, all right? Uh, it, fucking How I Met Your Mother, right? Ted and Barney have fucked everyone in the entire city who's white. That's it. Just all the white ladies. I don't get it. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I was arguing with this stupid fucker online. He's like, it's just not normal, man. It's just, you know, the Bible says, I'm like, I'm going to stop you right there. All right, you're fucking retarded. I don't care what your Bible says because it's your Bible. I don't give a shit. Like, you can't use that argument for me. You can use that argument for you. You can't tell me that's why I shouldn't do something, because I don't fucking care. Well, fine. It's just basic biology, man. We're not built that way. No, no, it's not biology. Biology is survival of the fittest. And if there's three dudes, and, they all, and there's one chick, and two of those dudes go off in the bushes to fuck each other, the third guy doesn't drag them back and make them bang the chick first. <laughs> that's not how it works. I wish all you motherfuckers were gay so I could sleep with the two women in this building. <laughs> Don't laugh, you're one of them. <laughs> you got pretty hair, boy. That shit's silky. Yeah, so this fucker's like, well, look, man, it's just numbers, man. It's just, a, it's just basic numbers. Most people are straight. Dude, most people are Chinese. <laughs> I don't think that's a good argument. <sighs> I, uh... What the fuck is it? Oh, I, um... 
I know this is not a new thing. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. It'd be weird if you were just standing there watching me. Go stand over there and watch me. Hey, guys. Welcome to the show. It's cool. It's almost over. Get a drink. Um, no, I, uh... I, uh... Fuck it. So, it's not new, uh, but I just discovered chat roulette. And I finally got a laptop with a webcam, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this shit. Uh, and apparently they've changed their terms of service. Like, when I knew chat roulette was a thing but wasn't on it, it was like all, like, freaky shit. I was like, oh, this will be fun. Now, apparently, it's not okay for me to show my dick on camera. <laughs> but here's the thing, when you, when you air something inappropriate, their punishment is that you are banned from the service until you've proven that you are a person, you're a real person who understands what's inappropriate by looking at random pictures they've got of different webcams and clicking on the inappropriate ones until you get 400 right in a row. <laughs> Their punishment for showing your dick on the internet is you have to click on 400 pictures of other people's dicks. That is some Old Testament shit. Alright, that is a Sisyphusian fucking task. I have 200 dicks to go, but I'll get there. What's weird is they haven't repeated and I haven't run out of dicks yet, so... I am not alone in this shit. Hello. <laughs> so that reminds me, all right, I, uh, I don't understand, like, why people are so worried about being roofied at the bar, all right, I don't get it, because, see, you say it's horrible I was roofied, and I say, you got a free drink, you got free drugs, and you got laid with no effort. <laughs> I just won. I don't fucking care. I, uh, I don't talk much about, uh, about dating or relationships, mostly because I make statements like that and it's awkward. Uh, but mostly it's, uh, it's not because like, I'm self-conscious about it or anything, it's just you're not supposed to talk about a no-hitter while it's going on. It's bad luck. So uh, that was a baseball joke. I keep doing that, assuming that people know baseball better than I do, like, and I was wrong. So, that's the only thing I know about baseball, is you don't talk about a no-hitter. That's it. I don't even know what type of ball they use. Is that the, is that the, the brown one that's pointy? Uh, okay. Dude, I don't know. Apparently, you can, like, punt a football, or you can, like, kick it at the goalie. I don't know. I'm very confused. They keep changing the rules. I don't know. One of them is all passed, and the other one you can't touch it with your hands. I don't, I don't know. Um, no, but clearly, I had, a, I had a totally different way to explain that I'm a raging loser and a complete nerd, and I've just done it, so we'll skip that section. Uh, but here's what I don't get. I don't get why that's a problem. I don't get why there's some stigma for dating a nerd. Like, oh, you know, he's a nerd. I don't want. I'm not into that. He just plays video games all day. Mm -hmm. No, 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 that's bullshit, all right? All the normal guys, all the jocks, all the surfers, all the musicians, whatever, at some point in their lives, like in their cool, get-the-chick lives, one of their friends pulled him aside and said, dude, I got a little tip. When you go down on a lady, you want to make her go wild, you spell out the alphabet with your tongue. No, all right, that's fucking bullshit. That's amateur hour. First off, everybody knows the alphabet, so who fucking cares? I'm a gamer. Ladies, I know the Konami code by heart. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, it's like, like, start. The start buttons are butthole, fellas. I'm just saying. And I know that to be true, because if you accidentally press it, uh, you will pause the game. All right, everybody, thank you very much. This has been a lot of fun for me. Cormac's Irish Pub, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out and sticking around. We'll be back on September 26th, so tell your friends, tell your mama, tell all of them about it. Uh, we'll be back then. 
please check it out. Ride safe, guys. Have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.